let's solve some problems let's say we are given a matrix a is equal to 1 2 1 1 and we have to see whether it satisfies scaly hamilton theorem okay so let's begin a minus lambda i equal to 0 so this becomes 1 minus lambda 2 1 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 so if we find the determinant we get 1 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda minus 2 equal to 0 which becomes 1 minus 2 lambda plus lambda square minus 2 and this becomes lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 1 equal to 0 okay so we have got the characteristic equation now in this characteristic equation kelly hamilton theorem says if we substitute lambda by a then also the result should be a zero zero matrix so substitute lambda with a so this becomes a square minus 2a minus 1 equal to 0 so therefore a is 1 2 1 1 square minus 2 times 1 2 1 1 minus 1 and this is a scalar but here we are talking of uh, matrices so this should be i so this will be identity matrix of the same order as a so this will be 0 1 0 0 1 equal to 0 so this would be 1 2 1 1 times 1 2 1 1 minus 2 4 2 2 minus 1 0 0 1 equal to 0 this would be if we multiply this we get 1 plus 2 is 3 4 plus uh, sorry 2 plus 2 is 4 1 plus 1 is 2 and then uh, finally 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 2 4 2 2 minus 1 0 0 1 equal to 0 okay 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 4 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 3 minus 2 is 1 minus 1 0 0 1 and here when we say 0 we are actually talking in terms of a 0 uh, matrix so this all should be zeros so we have 1 minus 1 0 0 0 0 equal to 0 0 0 so therefore satisfies kelly hamilton okay so let's do the second problem now this time let's look at a 3 by 3 matrix so let's say a is equal to 1 2 1 minus 1 0 3 3 minus 1 1 okay again a minus lambda i equal to 0 which implies 1 minus lambda 2 1 minus 1 minus lambda 0 minus lambda minus lambda 3 3 minus 1 1 minus lambda equal to 0 and this becomes 1 minus lambda times minus lambda times 1 minus lambda and minus into minus plus 3 minus 2 times minus 1 times 1 minus lambda minus 3 times 3 and finally plus 1 time minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 0 minus lambda equal to 0 okay so let's simplify this 1 minus lambda this becomes minus lambda plus lambda square uh, plus 3 minus times minus is plus or let's actually do it in two steps so minus 2 times minus 1 plus lambda minus 9 
प्लस वन प्लस थ्री लैमडा कोल्ड टू जीरो ओके नाउ वी हैव वी हैव टू एक्सपैंड दिस सो माइनस लैमडा प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर माइनस लैमडा क्यूब माइनस थ्री लैमडा प्लस टू माइनस टू लैमडा uh we could have done this together but no problem plus 18 plus 1 plus 3 lambda equal to 0 okay now let's look at the like terms we have minus lambda cube plus 2 lambda square or let's just cancel these two and we get minus 3 lambda and Plus three plus eighteen twenty one plus three twenty four equal to zero. Now, as per C H T Kelly Hamilton theorem, we substitute lambda by a. So minus a cube plus two a square minus three a. Plus twenty four equal to zero. This we can write it as a cube minus two a square plus three a minus twenty four, and this we make it as a matrix by multiplying it with the identity matrix of three by three order. Okay, so now here we require a square and a cube. So a square. Would be one two one minus one zero three three minus one one times one two one minus one zero three three minus one one. This becomes if we do the multiplication, we get two one eight eight minus five two seven five one. Okay, now a cube. Is nothing but a square times a. So if we do that, we get two one eight eight minus five two seven five one times one two one minus one zero three and three minus one one. And if we do this multiplication, we get twenty five. Minus four, thirteen, nineteen, fourteen, minus five, five, thirteen, and twenty-three. And now we substitute this into our equation: a cube minus two a square plus three a minus twenty-four i equal to zero. So this implies twenty-five. Minus four thirteen nineteen fourteen minus five five thirteen twenty three minus two times a a square so a square is this two one eight this is a square so four two sixteen sixteen minus ten Four, fourteen, ten, and two. We are multiplying this by two. Okay. Then we have plus three times a. A is this. So three six three minus three zero nine nine minus three. Three minus twenty four zero 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 twenty four zero 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 twenty four equal to zero. Remember, the zero is actually a zero matrix. Zero 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 zero. zero. So this implies twenty five minus four is twenty one. Twenty one plus three is twenty four. Twenty four minus twenty four is zero. Minus four minus two minus six plus six is zero. Zero plus zero is zero minus zero is zero. 
And if you do like this, you will notice that all of them are zeros. So therefore, satisfies Kelly Hamilton theorem. See, all this is fine, but how can we use it? You know, what is the application of uh, this? So let's look at some problems related to that. So let's look at the third problem. And here we are given a matrix, a three by three matrix, one, two, three, one, three, five, and one, five. Well, what we have to do is we have to find the inverse of A. So let's do that A minus lambda I equal to 0. So which implies 1 minus lambda 2, 3, 1, 3 minus lambda 5, 1, 5, 12 minus lambda is equal to 0. This is not a matrix, this is determinant. So, okay, which implies 1 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda times 12 minus lambda minus 5, 5 is 25, minus 2 times 1 times 12 minus lambda and minus. 1 times 5 that is 5 and finally plus 3 times 1 times 5 is 5 minus 1 times 3 minus lambda equal to 0 okay so now 1 minus lambda this gives us lambda square minus 15 lambda plus 11 yes then minus 2 times 12 minus 5 is 7 minus lambda plus 3 times 5 minus 3 is 2 minus lambda equal to 0. Okay, let's open up this bracket as well. So, we have lambda square minus 15 lambda plus 11 minus lambda cube plus 15 lambda square minus 11 lambda minus 14 plus 2 lambda plus 6 minus 3 lambda equal to 0. Okay. So, we have a minus lambda cube plus 16 lambda square minus 21 lambda plus uh, 3 equal to 0. And if we take, take out a uh, minus, uh, it disappears on the other side. So, lambda cube minus 16 lambda square plus 21 lambda plus 3 no not plus minus minus 3 is equal to 0 now lambda substituted by a so we get a cube minus 16 a square plus 21 a minus 3 i equal to 0. Okay. Now we require a cube. Uh, no, we don't have to do that. Uh, what we have to figure out is the uh, a inverse. So here we don't have an a. So let's say minus 3 i is equal to minus a cube plus 16 a square minus 21 a okay now what we'll do is we will pre multiply it by a inverse so a inverse multiplication so what do we get we get uh, a inverse times minus 3 i is equal to minus a inverse a cube plus 16 times a inverse a square minus 21 a inverse a. This can be written as minus 3 um, a inverse times i is a inverse. Okay. Here what happens? Uh, this becomes a square. 
this becomes 16 a and this becomes minus 21 okay now we can take this minus on the other side so we are left with a inverse is equal to minus 1 by 3 a square minus a square plus 16 a and minus 21 i it should be 21 i i and i uh, now we have to evaluate a square so a square is equal to 1 2 3 1 3 5 1 5 12 times 1 2 3 1 3 5 and 1 5 12 which is equal to if we do the multiplication we get 6 23 49 9 36 78 18 77 170 now let's substitute this into the equation so a inverse is equal to minus 1 by 3 a square is and this let's put it in a bigger bracket so we get uh, minus 6 minus 23 minus 49 minus 9 minus 36 minus 78 minus 18 minus 77 minus 170 plus 16 times a a is this so 16 2 is 32 16 3 is 48 16 1 16 16 3 is 48 16 5 is 80 16 16 5 is 80 16 12 is 1 92 and finally that 24 i uh, sorry 21 i so minus 21 0 0 0 21 0 0 0 21 okay so we have minus 6 plus 16 minus 6 plus 16 is uh, 10 10 minus 21 is 11 so minus 11 similarly if we do this arithmetic we get 9 minus 1 7 minus 9 2 minus 2 3 minus 1 and let's take this minus in so we get 1 by 3 times 11 minus 9 1 minus 7 9 minus 2 2 minus 3 1 and this is the inverse of a okay the next problem is uh, let's say given a matrix uh, 7 10 1 and minus 2 what we have to figure out is the higher powers of a okay so we should be able to come out with a uh, uh, with something by which it is easy to figure out a square a cube a n so we have to figure out a n is equal to what so let's see how we do that so we start off with figuring out the characteristic equation so 7 minus lambda 10 1 and minus 2 minus lambda equal to 0 okay so this would be 7 minus lambda times minus 2 minus lambda minus 10 equal to 0 this comes to uh, minus 14 minus 7 lambda plus 2 lambda plus lambda square minus 10 equal to 0 so lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 24 equal to 0 okay and this if we factor it what do we get we get lambda lambda and here we get uh, plus 3 minus 8 so which means lambda is equal to minus 3 and 8 so what we have got is the eigen values now corresponding to these eigen values we figure out the eigen vectors so for 
let's say lambda 1 is equal to minus 3 let's figure out the vector so 7 minus minus 3 10 1 minus 2 minus minus 3 which is equal to 7 plus 3 is 10 10 1 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 and the equivalent of this would be 1 times 10 minus 10 so this would be uh, 1 1 0 okay so now that means x plus y equal to 0 x equal to minus y so therefore if y is equal to k x is equal to minus k and for the simplest case where k is equal to 1 we have y is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 okay so which means the eigen vector would be minus 1 1 okay similarly for the other eigen value that is lambda 2 is equal to h okay so in case of uh, lambda 2 equal to 8 we will have lambda 7 minus lambda that is 7 minus 8 is minus 1 10 1 and we have minus 2 minus lambda so minus 2 minus lambda is minus 10 okay and again we can uh, come out with the equivalent matrix so that would be minus 10 minus 1 10 0 0 which means we have minus x plus 10 y is equal to 0 minus x is equal to minus 10 y x is equal to 10 y that means if y is equal to so if y is equal to k x is equal to 10 k and in the simplest case it would become for k is equal to 1 it would be 10 and 1 v2 is equal to. so we have two eigenvectors now let's look at the diagonalized matrix so that would be d is equal to the eigenvalue 1 0 0 eigenvalue 2 okay and p would be what p would be the vector minus 1 10 1 1 minus 1 1 and 10 1 remember if here we have put it as lambda 1 and lambda 2 here we have to take it as v1 and v2 if we had put it here lambda 2 lambda 1 here also we have to put v2 and v1 now we have to figure out the inverse of p now since it is a 2 by 2 matrix it is pretty straightforward minus or rather let's say 1 by deter determinant of this determinant of this is what minus 1 minus 10 so minus 11 so minus let's take it up and then what we have to do is exchange the diagonal values so this becomes uh, 1 and this becomes minus 1 and change the signs of the other diagonal so this becomes minus 1 minus 10 and since majority of them are here negative let's take this minus inside so 1 by 11 it becomes minus 1 10 1 1 now you might notice that p and p inverse they are both same in this particular case it will not happen all the time okay so now we have the formula a to the power of n is equal to p d to the power of n p inverse now it is pretty straightforward p is minus 1 10 1 1 d is going to be 
minus 3 to the power of n 0 0 and 8 to the power of n and finally minus 1 10 1 1 the p inverse now we do the multiplication one by one by the way here we have 1 by 11 of the p inverse since it is scalar we can take it to the front so 1 by 11 what do we have now minus 1 times minus 3 to the power of n so minus minus 3 to the power of n plus 10 times 0 right minus 1 to multiplied by this this multiplied by this so 0 and this becomes minus 1 to the power of uh, uh, times 0 and plus 10 times 8 to the power of n now the second row 1 times minus 3 to the power of n plus 0 and we have uh, 0 plus 8 to the power of n times minus 1 10 1 1 okay the next step would be 1 by 11 minus minus 3 to the power of n times minus 1 so this will become plus then plus 10 times 8 to the power of n next is minus uh, 10 times minus 3 to the power of n plus 10 times 8 to the power of n then we have minus minus 3 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n then we have uh, 10 times minus 3 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n so let's simplify it to whatever extent possible so minus 3 to the power of n plus 10 times 8 to the power of n this becomes uh, 10 is common so we can take it out minus 3 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n minus minus 3 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n 10 times minus 3 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n okay now this is a to the power of n okay now let's verify whether what we have got is correct or not a1 that is a to the power of 1 is nothing but a which should give us back the original matrix so let's see 1 by 11 minus 3 to the power of 1 is minus 3 plus 10 times 8 to the power of 1 is 80 here minus 3 to the power of 1 is minus 3 uh, remember we have taken minus out so this should be minus so that this minus and this minus becomes plus okay so we have minus 3 to the power of 1 so minus 3 minus 8 minus 3 minus 8 is minus 11 minus 11 my times minus 10 is 110 okay this will be minus uh, minus 3 so plus 3 plus 8 this is minus 30 plus 8 so we get 1 by 11 77 110 11 and 22 minus 20 so now if we take 11 and divide all the elements by 11 we get 7 uh, 11 10 10 110 11 once 11 minus 2 which is nothing but our a 7 10 1 minus 2 7 10 1 minus 2 now let's verify it with a square okay so 1 by 11 uh, then we have minus 3 square plus 10 to 10 times 8 square then we have minus 10 times minus 3 square minus 8 square then we have minus minus 3 square 
plus 8 square 10 times minus 3 square plus 8 square right okay so now let's simplify 9 plus 640 minus 10 times 4 9 minus 64 okay then we have minus 9 plus 64 and we have 90 plus 64 which is equal to 1 by 11 uh, 649 mm, minus 64 um, plus 9 is minus 55 minus 55 uh, times 10 is minus 10 is uh, 550 this is 55 and this is 4 9 plus 650 okay so now let's divide let's take this uh, by 11 inside so 11 5 55 of uh, and 11 9 99 11 5 55 11 5 55 and 11 1 uh, 11 4 44 so so this is the a square so which means using this formula we can arrive at any power of a so that's it for now bye